So let me show you how this Mammo 5 has built a minimalist wardrobe in few very easy steps. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, my name is Alessandra and I'm passionate about anything simple living and motherhood. Uh, a few years back when I first embraced minimalism, and I say I because I'm pretty much the only one in the family that did, uh, I started to see the benefits that downsizing every aspect of our life brought into our household and to my personal life too. And the same thing happened uh, once I tackled my closet. Uh, purging my closet helped me to redefine my style. I'm a proud mom of five little kids and I'm a wife. So I had lots of pieces of clothing uh, that they weren't serving their purpose anymore. So I knew that something had to be done because I was one of those people that despite having the closet full of clothes, never knew what to wear in the morning. So uh, that marked the beginning of my journey to a smaller, more functional and versatile wardrobe. Uh, so the first things that I let go of were the pieces of clothing that weren't serving my lifestyle anymore or that I realized I just bought out of impulse. So if you like me have the desire of uh, achieving a wardrobe that serves its purpose, that gets you dressed with no stress and in little time, especially for a stay at home mom like me, I would say that step number one would be focusing on basics. For basics, I mean all those timeless pieces, like the classics, if you will, that you can build your look over. And I realized that I was missing all those. So my wardrobe was mainly whatever was in fashion at the time. And so I could never build like a basic outfit. So step number two that goes along with step number one is to buy basics in natural colors. And let me explain you what I mean by that. It doesn't mean that I don't like colors or lot of prints. I love them all. It only means that you want to mainly own natural colors so that you can actually match them with other colors and other pieces of your clothing very easily, almost blindfolded. Like you grab a top, you grab a bottom, and bang, they're going to pair up, they're going to match. What I include in my natural colors, other than black, gray, and white, uh, is blushy tones and rusty tones and denim. Denim is an amazing natural color. So step number three you don't want to skip is shopping for textures. And you don't want to skip this step uh, for the simple reason why, because it's the one that dresses up your all. Otherwise, maybe a little bit more plain for some people look. So for the winter time, the textures that I like are these chunky, neat sweaters, like this one. See, still it's a basic, a natural color, but it has a little bit of detail, so it adds interest to the overall look. And then uh, what I do with the rest of the colors and prints, I use them as extras. I think of them as extras. It's almost like uh, if you have a sofa in a natural color and then you want to add those accents, those little purple colors with your accent pillows and stuff. So that's how I think about clothing. So I do have those pieces that I limited myself to one or maximum two of those and I change and incorporate them according to the season. For example, for the winter time, I like the red and played this pattern right here. For the fall, I like more like the ochre yellows or the rusty tones. For the springtime, I like to incorporate more prints on the t-shirts as I start to wear them solo. And then uh, the polka dots and the stripes for the summer. I'm obsessed with stripes, you guys. So it gives you a fresh look. So it's very, very easy. All right, so these are my three steps, my three rules that I keep in mind every time I go shopping. And uh, it makes it easy for me to tame my wardrobe and keep it simple and, uh, you know, and still you can style it up by adding layers like your jackets, your fine knits, cardigans, there you go. But it makes it no brainer to get ready in the morning anymore because you know that everything is going to match and it's going to go well with the rest of the stuff you own. All right, here's a closer look to my basics, what I own. I have uh, two fine knit cardigans in a kind of very light pink nude color and light gray. My uh, rusty cardigan right here. And then here are my sweaters. I own a total of four sweaters. And uh, here's my NASA one, who doesn't have a NASA shirt nowadays, right? <laughs> and then I have my blush pink right here. 
and then I have my dark gray sweater and you see I incorporated texture on this one with a ripped texture on this one and then I have my cardigan denim shirt that goes as well basically I keep this one out all year round because it matches like because I can dress up like tank tops you know I can just tuck it in on the front and it gives me the polished look and then here's my uh, I keep this one out all around too actually my shirt here my striped shirt because I love stripes and then let's go into the um, basics of my t-shirts and I have my white my black one my uh, natural pastel pink my blush one and my gray and then I got my tank tops once again with texture on them and this one's make it so easy to dress up you know for any special occasion so they're still basics and they still have natural colors but you know they add a little bit more of a high-hand look so they are great for you know going out as far as bottoms I don't know too much I just have these two pair of jeans maybe three the one I'm wearing actually <laughs> so I go for my skinny jeans and still love to add a little bit of detail I like distressed jeans a lot and then I got my boyfriend jeans right here that I wear a little bit you know on the more baggy side I love to pair them up with a sweater in the winter with a tank top in the summertime these are very versatile piece and then I have my leggings they're uh, shiny matte and I love these ones because it makes it no-brainer if I had to go out with my husband like on a date night or on a special occasion I pair this up with one of my texture simple tank tops I showed you earlier there you go so there you have it, it makes my outfits uh, to go really easy for me to assemble and here are my dresses the, as a stay-at-home mom I don't wear too often so I don't like to own too many either and I have a maxi dress here in dark grey it's very long and I like it to dress it up with uh, maybe an oversized jacket or just a fine cardigan depends where I'm going and what I'm doing here's my little black dress it's uh, another of the classics so the basics you gotta have in your wardrobe and then here's my uh, long dress too for the winter time and um, blush and as you can see I shop for textures all right you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you did enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one bye